can you upload a course at I Got Karamyogi platform? You can do it easily in eight simple steps. Before you start the process, keep three login credentials ready that are content creator, content reviewer, and content publisher. And start by logging into the below URL of CPP portal as a content creator using your content creator credentials. You can get login credentials from your respective MDO admin and in case of any query, please connect with IGOT team at mission.karamyogi.gov.in. Now let's get the course uploaded step by step. Step 1. Locate the create new button in blue at the right top to start the process. Choose the desired content type, course, program, which is a collection of courses, standalone assessment to test the learner's knowledge, moderated courses, which have restricted access, only selective learners can access the course by clicking on the respective tab. Below are more CBPs, namely training, that allows one to create workshop and training, and bytes that allow one to give quick overview content about a course. Now click on the course tab to create your course. In step 2, you can add course information by writing course title, which should be minimum 10 to maximum 70 characters, subtitle, minimum 10 to maximum 1000 characters, and then clicking on the save button. Now you will be required to add modules, which are parts or characters into which course is divided, resources in a form of PDFs and file to support the course, and final assessment, which can be created in a form of MCQ, single correct answer, MCQ, multiple correct answer, fill in the blanks and match the following to test learner's knowledge. Click on the module and fill the title, summary and save the details. After saving the details, click on plus icon at the left to add resources to your course by either adding files or by providing YouTube or survey link. By uploading the resource, fill the title of the resource and save it. Now again click on the resource tab and fill the resource content which goes by title, subtitle, summary, duration, description and upload the file by browsing or dragging the folder in the box at the right. Don't forget to click the checkbox and clicking the upload button and save the details. Step 3. Once you open the course tab, go to the content setting and provide essential information such as title, subtitle, summary, description, image, course thumbnail and CBP logo in JPEG, JPG, PNG file and the duration and save all the details. Further down on the same page, there is classification section. Include the details like course best viewed in, knowledge level, learning mode, keywords etc. and click on save. Further down on the same page, now fill the competencies by selecting best suited area that cater to your course and the proficiency level. Further, add author, content reviewer's mail id and publisher's mail id details and hit the save button. Step 4 is to go to the content quality section at the top of the page requiring you to answer the set questions which you must complete and then submit the course after receiving the report, click on self-curation. Step 5 is to move to the self-curation phase, review the modules you have uploaded. If it says everything looks good, proceed to the summary tab. Here you will get an overview of the course, its content and the preview of the competency building product which is CPP. When you are ready to send the course for review, click on send for review. 
step six is to log in as a content reviewer to oversee the review process. Access the For Review tab, click on three dots and select Review to see the course, modules, resources, content settings and the content quality report. Once everything seems satisfactory, click on Send for Publish at the top right to publish the course. Step 7 is log in as a content publisher. Under the CBPs tab, go to For Publish section. Click on three dots and select Publish and see the courses, module, resources, content setting and content quality reports. The final is the eighth step. The final eighth step is to finalize publication. Click on Publish Content, then Publish Resources. Your course is now accessible on the portal. Congratulations!